After the show, we are heading to the mall, Mayfair. Well, uh, I don't know what city it is. Let's consider Milwaukee something, suburbs. Well, we didn't realize the mall closed at six, and it's seven now, so I did find these. I might buy one. Probably not that one. I heard that one's good. At least Barnes & Noble's open later. Toys and games. We got some good sets here. We settled on Target. Not too many good sets. You do get a $10 gift card, though. For every 50 you spend. Monday morning. It's poor 10 a.m. We're trying it again, Lego store. Here we go. Oh, we have two lurkers outside the Lego store. We're going somewhere else first. To Claire's. It's the important place. Well, they want to get in. They're opening the doors. It's an exciting moment. Lego store. We're done. Not much going on here. Got a bag. There we go. Three of those, three of those. We are back home on Monday. 4.24 p.m. and I had 30 some items on eBay. I need to get it to the post office by 5. <laughs> so here we go. We got to pull them all and we'll see if we can get this here. All right, hit my deadline 4.40 and I got everything ready. That was my goal I set by myself. I have to get now in the next 10 minutes I should be dropping these off the counter at 4.50. It's about an eight minute drive but I got to get in the van, get out of the driveway. So until tomorrow, I have lots of Brooklyn quarters packed. All right, back from the post office. Lloyd is uncovered. He is back to me. He just do want to talk to me. Uh, so it's 5:45. Um, just I just put all my stuff away. It is literally all put away. And before I did that, I always put everything I get in one bin so I know where to find it, which is this. And this was this came together. Um, I'm told there's possibly two ships or parts to two ships, but no minifigures. Um, so there's that. And I got this from my good good friend there from just down south of me. I didn't really even look at it. <laughs> I see uh He got a Kachima clock and some other things for this. So I see some good stuff in there that I like. The random pieces. The El Fuego skeleton guy. So there's that. And then this also came from uh, this person. Uh, they reached out on Instagram and then said they wanted to possibly, or to sell this. We made an agreement and then trade. We, we brought some stuff to trade. So we got some good stuff. Not all this is from him actually. This one, this one, this one, not that one. And then this Anakin, I think is it. Maybe there's another one somewhere, but and another displayer traded me these for about um, five dollars credit to my booth for each one. Because there's some decent ones in there and some just come more common ones. Maybe not more common, but just ones. Oh, here's another one from over here. So that is it, and then we went to the Lego store which you would have seen a little bit ago. And these dark, tor dark tor turquoise legs are the best thing I got. Yeah. What's so great about this kind of stuff, I literally looked at it for maybe 15 seconds and said, deal. You got this. I just bring this stuff right up into my desk. And... Steal ahead. That's they're all connected and then they go shooting. There we go. Got the head that rolled. Come down here. Find this. Put them together. You can look in there while I put this together off camera. So let's 
pretty interesting stuff. Then we have uh, the original Denger. Dengar, Denger, and it's in mint condition. As far as the torso goes, that's the only piece that is uh, exclusive, so. And then you just keep going. You just keep looking. We got this Batman, he has the wrong legs. Uh, but I, I can build the jetpack that he comes in that little set with Catwoman and on her motorcycle. All I have to do is find... He comes in both versions with the the wide cowl and the the other one. But anyway, I'll, show, I'll take off his legs and switch that later. Um, there's Huntress. Just need to find her hair. Here's a commando droid. It's got I don't know if that's the right head or not. And I just find my commando droid. And I'm uh, out of a. Uh, Practice. I'm pretty sure I don't have any legs right now. I'm sure I don't, so I'll just throw that in there till when I get legs and we can complete that. Oh, they might be in here. There is a Widowmaker. This guy's complete. This guy's complete. So I guess the, the trick is just to take out all the complete stuff. He's almost complete. Power Miner guy. I'll just put this with the Power Miner stuff until I get to get around to um, uploading them again. Dastin from. Uh, Prince of Persia. So, nice stuff. Oh, there's a crusty head. He just needs an arm. Actually, he's cracked, but and with different legs. Ooh, look at that. Actually, I need this torso. It's cracked, darn it. I have one out of order that was cracked, too. We have Chunk from Toy Story. And there's a ton left, and we got this really cool custom painted red skeleton head. It's real Lego. They really did a good job painting that. I don't know how they did that. I guess magic marker. Alright, so some mail came as well from FedEx. Of all places. I uh, got some Walmart purchases. I have more coming. So this came out of this giant box, which has four sets in it. One has that one there as well, and this was for twenty dollars on Walmart.com. And right now I have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, and I have more coming. And then this was seventy nine ninety nine. It wasn't super super deal like that, um, but it's normally ninety nine ninety nine, and it is an amazing set. Obviously, the lights right in my camera. It's so high up there. Um, so I got I end up getting nine of these. I got all nine of these. And it's got some weird weird stuff on there. Almost like grease. Um, so this is one I really like. I just love it. Trains, I, th I think a lot of people like trains. It's just something about them. So I'm going to put this in my part out pile that I got them in, in to part out. And. Uh, I'm going to not do it right away. That's one I'm going to do later. Uh, but these, I'm going to open up all these and take all the sets out. I have no desire to, to store these huge, giant boxes like this. And I'll start parting them out. Um, these can probably be parted out pretty easily. I mean, not now. i got to get the rest of them. I have mm, 12 more coming, 13 more coming. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of a deal. I already had one of these I got from Col for Cole's Cash for free, so that works out. But, I mean, what is this? Is this a $20 set alone? And you get all that, so it was a good deal. It wasn't great, like a great, great steal, but um, I can't find any friends to part out. I love parting out friends, um, not because of the value, because the, the colors. It's a lot easier to part out, and other people are motivated to do it for me. So, um, look at this piece it comes with a printed green head. That's awesome, and I noticed this one came with a balloon animal, which is awesome. They each come with a little animal. It's a question mark. Um, this has an animal and two figures. I think this has two animals and two figures. So, really good stuff there. October 26th. Early morning. Here we go. So, I did not close my Brickling store while I was at Brickworld, Milwaukee. So, since Friday morning, 
Yeah, 34 orders here. And, uh, yeah, it added up to a lot of money. And 514 lots, 3,000 items. So that's my morning here. And on Brick Owl, we had 10 orders, totaling 97 lots, 167.50. And yesterday I shipped out my UA store, but we got 13 more since then. That's last night at like 4 o'clock. So. It's a shipping day for sure. All right, so here's the brick hall orders. I'm not gonna set up the brick link. I'm gonna do all these and actually print them, uh, the labels, get them out on their own little order because there's 10 here, 34 brick link orders. So I'll do the second batch of that because I think PayPal was 30, 30 at a time, but I think they said you can print 50 labels at a time now. I'm not even 100% sure, but I'll find out because I have more than 30 at least with just that, so. Get these done. Good morning, Lloyd. Got my decaf coffee. I was drinking a little bit of half calf this weekend for Brick Worlds, but barely anything. So we'll have a tea later to subside any headaches. Um, See, so yeah, I'm excited to get this done. <laughs> I can move on to all kinds of other stuff, like opening a bunch of mail. Right there. Largest brick owl order of 26 lots here. Here's a one item, one lot order. Twenty-seven bucks. Sold. Oh, the brick out orders are ready for shipping. So we're gonna do that now. Whew. Call this payday. I grabbed the exact number of business cards to put on these. I love it when that happens. And you grab the exact amount of parts out of a drawer that you need, like 25, and then you count them up, it's all there. It's cool. Alright, so no, you can't lose focus. You gotta just go, go for it. I'll probably take a break for breakfast at some point. Because um, it's just 7.06 a.m., probably about 8, 8.30. Let's see where we're at. And uh, yeah, one thing about PayPal, it says you can print up to 50, but then. It wouldn't show me, it only showed me 40 transactions, so I couldn't see the first two brick hall orders that were purchased for last Friday. Okay, PayPal. Anyway, let's go. This order has a note, I always watch your videos when I come home. So awesome, there's an order, and a mini, and a Draco, some pieces. And now to Kentucky. Thanks so much for the support and watching the videos and the order. Wow, this was, um, what amazing order. So many figures in there. And these are all the used ones. Some very good ones in here. Alright, we cleared off the first row. <laughs> and here we are. The next uh, order is my largest. 87 lots, 800 items. So it's like 10 items per lot. So, um, and after that's 42, and then they get in the 20s and lower, so there's nothing crazy beside two more, which will take me a little bit, this one and that 42. And uh, we're moving, so I'm going to take my breakfast now. All right, I'm back here just before 9. i got a note on this in the largest order of the weekend. Love watching your videos. It has motivated me to start looking into starting a Brickling store to so supplement income when I retire. Keep up the good work. Awesome, yeah. Definitely um, is an active job. I get a lot, a lot of exercise doing this, so I know when I, I don't ever plan on retiring, but uh, I'll do this for exercise. Right. So I'm gonna pull these with this order. There's uh, seven, eighty-six, eighty-seven lots, eight hundred eighty-six items. So the first thing is two of these. Oh, I just had a good breakfast. Rice Krispies with banana, two bowls of that, and then I had a nutty bar with uh, microwave marshmallows in the middle. That was good. Now I have some actual white tea that has some caffeine in it, because I'm getting a headache, so don't know why, uh, but I like said I did have half calf for the last two days and a pop the last two days. Well, Saturday and Sunday, yesterday I didn't have any. Um, so anyway. 
we're gonna go. I'm gonna turn off my camera so I don't mess things up because I usually have trouble. I'm not sure it's going out with the podcast over there. Football time. All right, it's 9:24 a.m. There, and we got the whole order pulled. Uh, a lot of stuff is in bags because I just didn't have enough room. So got some used minifigs. That's a good one. Right there. The used parts all in the yellow and all the new stuff. So awesome. Thanks again. It's a very powerful order right here. Lots of power there. And in the middle of this order, I think it's one of my largest ones left. It's 20 some lots. Um, somebody bought all of my grills. I'll cut those up. And then, so when I'm at the pick a brick wall, I don't check my store if I have the parts or not. I just go for small stuff or stuff I know will sell. And that's what I got. So I didn't have any. So I had a thought of filling up the whole cup, which maybe I should have. Um, either way, we got more. I got a note here. Hey Derek, I've been watching your channel for a year and a half. Thanks for showing the behind the scenes of the resale business and especially sales. Uh, you've inspired me to start my own store. I just need some feedback to get started, Alan. All right, I'll be leaving feedback after the after I turn off the camera here. Cause typically don't leave feedback until I get feedback. And that's so truly I feel the order is complete. Um, as a buyer and some people are you you should leave feedback after once the buyer pays well there's also the interaction a buyer could have with a seller which could change feedback so some buyers are just uh, very uh, pushy very aggressive very do this now and that is maybe you might want I want to leave a positive feedback I don't know um, it's rare that I would not do that but anyway so I'll leave them feedback now because he requested it and um, get the store started. So here's the order. I got an order from Life Brick Studios. And he's supposed to come to Brick World Indianapolis. I'm not sure what happened, but let me know in the comments. No, maybe next time. Hopefully I'm getting into Chicago. There is a chance. And uh, Indian March, actually. Uh, there's a very good chance I'm going to do that one. So March 2022 for the Indianapolis again. That would be awesome. This was the last order. I think I got two more that came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those as well. I'm just checking it right now, but got two of those and let's see. Nope, there's three more orders. A 14 lot, two lot, and one lot. So we'll get those. All right, here's an order that came in this morning on Tuesday. Got a couple of these, just two of them. And the note says, uh, keep the instructions coming. Almost got the CMF collection done and keep up the great work with the videos. Really loving all the content. Hope you had fun at all your brick worlds. Yes. Glad they're over, but we had a lot of fun. So awesome. I'm not sure if I have any other ones I can upload that you need, but if I find more, I will keep uploading them as I go. So awesome. Thank you. All right. That's it. <laughs> it's a mess. 11.32. Um, I'm gonna get this done and take a good break and then just kind of clean up down here I'm not gonna do too much more work today um, I might go and do an expansion get it ready get it prepped over oh, don't know yet uh, But yeah, this is a challenge I'm tired my feet hurt <laughs> I did have Monday off pretty much didn't I did a few things but still Take it easy for a day the rest of today I'm sure there's stuff around the house. I got to do <laughs> Um, but I gotta finish this first. This is still about an hour of work here. I'll end up taking me less than an hour, but I had to enter 15 addresses manually so they could be on the scan form because after 72 hours they were paid, they would no longer show up in the print all at once PayPal thing. So I've never run into that because I'm gonna use the shipping stuff definitely within 24 to 48 hours every time. So now uh, I'm gonna head to the post office. Get some lunch. All right, I'm back from post office and uh, got some wood for the winter. Got one uh, Bricklink order. We got a head, which was a dollar fifty. Then we got this torso that was three dollars and fifty cents. It looks pretty nice until you turn it to the side, and it's a huge crack. I really hate that. 
Not to say I've never done that and sent damage stuff. I'm sure I have. I've never really heard of it. Uh, anyone telling me I have, but maybe I have. It's been a while if I have, but oh, I hate having to complain about stuff. But for three dollars and fifty cents, you got it. All right, I just put into motion some stuff here. I'm gonna try these out. I got six of them. I got extra ones. Uh, they have. Oh, I'm not sure if those containers come out of the bottom. They have small doors on the top, open containers on the bottom. I'm sure I can find a use for them. And I also bought, oh, six Acro Mills. So, shelving unit there, shelving unit there against the wall, and then coming out from the wall, shelving unit here, shelving unit here, plywood on the back, and screw lockers on the back of this up until uh, it's like 44 inches, somewhere up here it starts, and then it'll be a, a landing, a table for sorting, and it's going to come all the way to here with stack-ons, and then turn the corner to this this one. I'm going to keep this one here for now. I'm going to move all this stuff probably just over to this part, this section. So I have room here now that I took this one to my desk that was right here. So I think I can move all those over to here. I can go even go higher if I need to in some spots so a couple weeks that'll get going once i get all the stuff but i'm super excited to finally get this and this is all dedicated to used parts sorting basically i mean this is a lot of these parts are actually new in here from when i originally deleted my bricklink store and just had all the parts sorted in bags and I dumped them and stuff like this uh, but i've been putting them in and using them for completing sets here and there um the labeling system I'm going to get is going to be a game changer. And uh, so I just cleaned up this area, got my sets all organized. I have more coming. Not too many more, but there's more of those friends. Uh, I think 12 more of each set. And then I have some Star Wars sets coming. Um, these are going to get done next week, I think, next Wednesday when I have help coming. So those are kind of just hanging out right there. I got to move them. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I get out the shelving units, I'm going to take this out here. This isn't attached to anything. This is kind of like my wheels and random just parts that are big and clunky. Take all that down. Take all this out of here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the TV. I like to have a TV, but it's not a necessity. I have a TV at my desk, actually, um, that I use. So, um, yeah. I get some more sports cards listed, so I'm just going to get rid of this whole unit here. Eventually I'll get rid of this unit too. These are all screwed to the wall, um, but I wouldn't leave them without a support. Uh, but I'm going to build in something, you know, with like the other one. So we'll see. I might have to do it all together at the same time to build a whole big wood unit with storage underneath. But I'll have lots of storage with the four shelving units I'm getting as well. That'll go here.